the truth, and I've never said this anywhere else. My first webinar, I needed money to flee Nigeria, right? Um, at that point, I had, I think, maybe 50,000 Naira in all my Naira accounts. I only had money in my dollar account, and I could not access it. I needed to buy a ticket to leave Nigeria. That was November 2017. So I asked myself, what can I do? And I put out a webinar, 3,000 Naira. In the 24, 32 hours, I had 450K. I bought a Royal MRO ticket to leave Nigeria, and I left the next day to the US, and I was there for three months. Um, so it was out of the fact that I needed money, and then I realized, like, oh, webinar can bring money. It was called How to Sell Like a Pro One. And when I got to the US, I settled, sorted myself. I launched How to Sell Like a Pro Two. <laughs> And that's how it has gone. So I stumbled into it because I needed funds to leave the country. And I, right, and I realized that I am but one person. And if scaling will need to happen, then I need to look at how to work with other people who also have knowledge, but either they're not in their, they're not known, or even if they're known, the knowledge is not relevant or they are not accessible price-wise to the micro and small um, business owners. So then it was just like, I wanted to just expand on Trisha Biz and see how to consolidate all my success so far. Um, so I dabbled with different ideas and finally I landed on the name Business Lab Africa. Um, it wasn't for me, it was the team, like two people on the team. Somebody came up with Lab, my own, and then Yox came up with Business Lab. So anyway, uh, we mar we make, married it together. Um, so Business Lab Africa basically is an online training platform, right? Um, so back to that report from 2017, the average entrepreneur lacks business knowledge, right? La they lack it seriously. And it's not just a Nigerian thing, it's an African thing. One, um, two, they're unable to afford it at the price that it currently um, is being offered at. And it's not a disrespect to the teachers, it's just that they cannot afford it. Um, now, for those who can afford, even where you find some knowledge that is affordable on some international platforms, the strategies are not skewed to doing business in Africa which is a total ball game. Like, as simple as Facebook ad targeting, they say there are different things. There are some um, metrics that are not tracked in Nigeria. You know, like based on income, which income, who, who. You know, so um, I decided that I wanted to create a platform that answered all of that. A platform that provided quality content at a price entrepreneurs could afford and the knowledge was skewed to doing business in Africa. So that is basically what BLA is. So we, we bring together very amazing experts who have trained around the world, teaching on topics that are their core. So like when it was just me, I was teaching on everything. I, I know them, but some of them are not my core. Um, so here, it has to be your core for you to come on BLA. Um, so we have trainers teaching every month, and then we have learners who subscribe every month. So it's a monthly subscription-based online school. You can decide to subscribe every month or just, okay, I just want to learn what you're offering this month and then you can go and execute it and come back when you have funds for the next one. But you just know that there's a platform where I can go to and get the knowledge I need. Um, and what we also did was we created two subscription plans because even though some businesses are small, but they are established. So we have the startup plan for those who are just starting and coming up and then they established. We've been there for a while now, we're established, but we need to expand, scale or grow, etc. So there are different courses taught to the different um, subscription plans based on where we think they are in the level of business. Um, so yeah, that's Business Lab Africa.